So have you ever wondered if it would be easier to tune and delete a newer diesel truck without sending your computer in to get it reprogrammed? Man, do I have a good one for you guys today. And I know this video is probably gonna get me in trouble. So do me a solid, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and definitely share this video because this is gonna be extremely informative. And I'm pretty confident that this video is gonna help out a tremendous amount of people. So once again, I'm gonna throw my channel under the bus and show you guys the ins and outs. Let's go ahead and get started. So first off, I wanted to share with you, if you live in the United States of America, what I'm about to tell you is extremely illegal. It's a federal crime to remove emissions off of a diesel truck. Now, if you live in Canada, of course you are in the clear. And from my understanding, it's not illegal to purchase the parts, but if you live in the US, definitely check your local laws to make sure you do this properly. So I made a YouTube video several months ago from the dieseldudes.com. I talked to the owner, I interviewed him on my channel. This company is based out of Canada and what they do is they sell full bundle kits, full delete kits for your Duramax, Power Stroke, and Cummins. But the older generation or older model diesels were not as complex as they are now. And what I mean by that is nowadays if you decide to tune your truck, you're going to have to remove the engine control module and send it out to a company. In turn, they're going to go ahead and unlock that computer, send it back to you where you can load the tunes in. What a lot of people don't understand is it's a lot of downtime with your truck, so the truck will be sitting. As a matter of fact, I've heard of people where the truck was sitting for several weeks. And there's so many problems with these trucks because they're newer, any small little thing, and I'm gonna use the word finicky, any small little thing that you do during this process will throw everything out of whack. Once that happens, you're gonna to have to send your computer back out to that company. They're gonna go ahead and do their magic on it, send it back to you and hope it works again. It's a very lengthy, tedious process. It's very expensive. I personally have never heard of a story where an individual has done this and it's never given them any problems during the process. I know that some of you hero experts out there are gonna leave in the comments that this is not new. But to be fair, it did come out last year in December and it's now really being heavily pushed. And most people still don't know that this exists. So first of all, if you have a 2017 plus Duramax, what you're gonna go ahead and do is check your DEF level. If it's currently low, fill up your diesel exhaust fluid. If you don't do this, you may have a permanent DEF code when the truck starts. If your soot levels are above 70%, you must force it into regeneration mode before you can continue the tuning process. So the cost is about $1,000 cheaper doing it this way and it's a lot more effective. If you go on this website, which by the way, I will leave a link in the description for you guys to click on, you're gonna see the full GM Chevy Duramax 6.6 .6 liter L5P bundle kit. And this goes for 2017 to 2023. It gives you everything that you absolutely need to complete the job. With the included ECM upgrade kit, you no longer need to purchase the unlocked ECM. Included is everything you need to do a full DPF, DEF, and EGR delete. The process is sort of similar on a box tuner end, but you will need your laptop. When you pull up the required software, once the ECM unlock process is complete, you will then obtain a read file. But in order to obtain a read file, you have to start this process first. What you're gonna go ahead and do is open your hood. You're gonna go ahead and disconnect the batteries on both sides of the engine bay. After both batteries have been disconnected, you're then gonna go ahead and remove the fuse cover on the driver's side and disconnect the power fuse. If you have a 2017 to 2019, you're gonna remove fuse number 57. And if you have a 2020 plus, you're gonna remove fuse number 78. After that, you're gonna go ahead and install the upgraded fuse cable. Once that's been complete, go ahead and connect your battery cables back to the batteries. And then connect the cable to the upgraded box, which I will explain to you guys what that is because that is actually the box tuner that I'm kind of sort of talking about here. In the kit included, it's gonna come with a gray cable. You will connect that to the upgraded box as well. And then at that time, you're gonna connect that device to your OBD2 port. After that, open the editor program that we talked about. Once that's done, obtain the read file, which I'm not gonna explain fully on how to do that. All the instructions will be in there if you order this kit. But once you receive the read file, you're gonna go ahead and send it to the dieseldudes.com. Once you email them the read file, they're also gonna to wanna to know your tire size and they're gonna send you a tune file. Once you receive that file from the diesel dudes, you're then gonna go ahead and continue the same process that we talked about and they're also going to send you the license to your truck with eight credits at that point you're going to go ahead and write the tune file to the ecm and once that's complete you are good to go with the whole deleting process and what i mean by that is you're now free to go ahead and remove the egr cooler the egr valve the def the diesel particulate filter as well as that urea tank 
Upon purchasing the whole delete bundle package, you can also click what size exhaust system you want. You can either go with a four or five inch exhaust on the website. In order to make the truck even breathe and sound better, you're gonna go ahead and remove the catalytic converter, which is connected to the turbo. And you also have to purchase the additional customized downpipe that they sell on the website as well. That way you have a free flowing exhaust going all the way to the back end of the truck. Also another crucial part of the deletion process is the CAN bus connectors that are included in the kit. You're gonna go ahead and install those as well. If you don't install those, like I said, these trucks are very finicky the truck will freak out. So make sure you guys don't skip that step. I wanna take a minute and talk about some of you guys that don't wanna remove your emissions off the vehicle, but still keep it deleted and tuned. The good news about this process is that you don't have to remove all of your emissions in order to tune this thing and delete it. The only thing that you're gonna have to remove is a DPF, and you're gonna install a race pipe, which comes with the kit as well. And basically what a race pipe does is you cut off the DPF, and that will allow for the exhaust to freely flow out of the exhaust pipe without having to be contained into a canister. Of course, after doing this process, your truck will never go into regeneration mode. So that solves that problem right there. So yes, you can absolutely, in fact, leave all of your emissions intact. Simply all you really need to do is this process of using the new upgraded cable without removing your ECM and going through this 20 minute process of shutting everything off to retune your truck. Now there is a warning here, if you decide to do this, your truck will not sound cool. For some of you guys that do this process, you're gonna want that additional sound. But then again, there's probably a lot of you guys that don't care for the sound. You just don't wanna continually have to put diesel exhaust fluid in your tank and worry about the costly expense of if your emissions do fail. Now, if you really wanted your truck to sound cool, you're probably gonna go ahead and remove that catalytic converter connected to your turbo and install that customized downpipe with a straight exhaust. And that's absolutely where you're gonna get your sound from. Not to mention the engine's just gonna breathe so much better if you go that route but it definitely will be louder. I wanted to throw this in the video really quick. If you have a newer Ford or Dodge, so your Power Stroke or your Cummins, the diesel dudes have kits for this as well. Of course, it's not gonna be the same exact process, but it's very similar. From my understanding with the newer Cummins engines, you will in fact have to remove your engine control module and in turn with the kit, they're gonna send you a new one. And again, guys, I can't stress this enough. If you live in the United States of America, it is illegal. If you live in Canada, you're good to go. Obviously, there's not a lot of secrets that guys in the US do this, but just understand that if you decide to go this route, you're gonna do this at your own risk. And another thing, if you plan to remove all the emissions off of your truck, keep everything. I wouldn't recommend selling everything because who knows, if you have the truck five to 10 years from now and your local county decides to perform the emissions checks annually, you're never gonna be able to register that thing. And as far as I'm concerned, if you decide to outsource all those parts and get everything reinstalled on your truck, I'm gonna guess that you're probably gonna be in between 10 to $15,000 just to reinstall all those parts again. But if you decide to do this from home, I think it's pretty cool that if you order the bundle kit on the website, and you decide not to remove all the emissions off the truck and just simply shut the EGR valve off and all of the emissions related codes that would come with it. This process is gonna be pretty simple. But if you decide to remove all of that stuff and do a weight reduction, this process can easily take about 10 hours to complete from start to finish. Now the bundle kit's gonna run you around $4,500, which is pretty cool because before that, even a couple years ago, it was an extra thousand dollars more and the biggest reason for that is because you had to send out your ECM. But sort of hitting on the Duramax Power Stroke and Cummins, leave in the comments what year and model you drive. When making YouTube videos, it helps me make even better content when I know what sort of vehicles the audience drives. A very crucial thing when doing this process is that it will permanently upgrade your truck to work without the suffocating factory emission systems. This means that all you gotta do is remove all the emissions related parts and the sensors for good, including the DPF, DEF, EGR, the CAT or the catalytic converter, the DOC, and all the NOx sensors included. This is made possible by custom delete tunes that wipe away the emission systems from the truck and your computer. Once the pesky emission system is deleted from your truck's programming, you could proceed to remove all the parts that are holding your diesel back from running at its best. The kit does include a DPF CAT delete pipe and bolts in place of the original DPF and CAT in the exhaust system. This EGR kit will allow you to fully remove all the original EGR systems, seal shut the openings, and reroute the exhaust to flow out of the exhaust pipe. And this is the brand new device that I'm actually talking about. I'm sort of correlating this device to a box tuner. You're also gonna receive the MPVI 3 tuner, the eight tuning credits that you're gonna need in order to tune the truck. We're gonna talk about this here later in this video, but it's also gonna come with the tuning with shift on the fly, which you're gonna control from your steering wheel, the can plugs, the DPF cat delete pipe, and the full EGR delete kit, which you will receive absolutely everything that you're gonna need in order to complete this job. Now, as far as the tuning process goes, this takes about 20 minutes. You can do this in your driveway. I'm not saying that everybody can perform this job, you will need some mechanical ability in order to do this and tools. So if you don't feel confident or comfortable, definitely hire a professional to do this. 
But talking about the ECM upgrade kit, this basically means that you no longer need to purchase and uninstall your computer from your truck and send it out and then get receive a different one and have all that downtime. You can do this at your house. And not only that, most guys, when they remove their ECM from their truck, they generally break clips when they don't do it properly. And take it from me, it is a nightmare to repin. Those are not fun. But this is pretty awesome because you don't have to perform that process anymore before you had to do this. This significantly reduces the cost and makes the installation so much easier. Now, once you've completed this entire install process and everything's done, the power options range from zero to 200 horsepower depending on the year of your truck. So the power options are as follows. So stock, which is no added horsepower, Tune 2 is 50 horsepower, which most people run on Tune 2. Tune 3 is 80 horsepower, which I would recommend doing that when you're pulling a trailer. Tune 4 is your 130 horsepower tune, and then Tune 5 is your big bad boy 200 horsepower tune. The shift on the fly is offered in this package, and you can change the horsepower levels using your truck's steering wheel controls. In order to perform this process, make sure that the cruise control is off and the selector switch to the left of your steering wheel. Really all you gotta do is just push that thing up. You're gonna see a little glow plug light. Every time that thing blinks, if it blinks twice, you're in tune two. If it blinks three times, you're in tune three. Also, if the truck is off, but in accessory mode, you can also change the tunes while the truck's not even running. So if it reads 1000 RPM with the truck off, it means you're in tune one and then 2000, so on and so forth. But it's pretty cool because you can simply change the tunes on the fly while you're driving. By deleting the factory emission systems, which have been suffocating your diesel, you will immediately notice a night and day difference. It will perform better in every imaginable way, including speed, fuel economy. As a matter of fact, I'm hearing a five mile per gallon increase on average. Over time, the kit should pay for itself with a fuel economy savings. And of course, the last benefit is knowing that you have a peace of mind that that crazy ticking time bomb that's attached to your truck won't go out because it's not there. I missed a ton of steps and the small little details, which like I said in the kit included all the instructions that you need, but you get a general understanding on how to do this. I would say that's like more or less the hardest part. I wanted to give you guys a quick heads up on what the EGR actually is. I know I keep talking about it in the video, but in 2004, prompting diesel engine manufacturers to find a way to lower the NOx levels, the most cost-effective way to meet the standard was to implement exhaust gas regulations, or EGR. An EGR system routes a portion of the exhaust back into the engine's intake system. Prior to being rerouted and mixed in with clean incoming oxygen, the exhaust gases are cooled by the EGR's cooler and metered through the EGR valve. This oxygen deprived air is used to limit peak and cylinder combustion temperatures. Cooler combustion temperatures means less NOx output. Ford was ahead of the game with the international built 6.0 liter power stroke. GM followed suit by adding the EGR to the LOI Duramax, which is your 04.5. So essentially what your EGR system is doing is it's rerouting the exhaust gases back into your combustion chamber for a second burn before entering out of the exhaust. It's gonna go through the catalytic converter, the diesel particulate filter, the list goes on. And it can cause a whole range of issues. As a matter of fact, if you watched video from last year when I was in Colorado, my 2018 GMC Denali pulling a gooseneck, I was stranded in the Colorado Rocky Mountains. After repairing the emissions, it was a very costly endeavor. If you guys do deletes like this, you never have to worry about this again. Of course, those of you that are gonna be affected highly are those that have counties and states that implement the emissions checks in order to register your vehicle yearly. But in closing, I hope you guys learned something. I know this isn't a video I should be posting on the channel. I may do another video on this, but I'm reading tons of articles on how they're gonna do away with diesel engines by 2040, and they're gonna be zero emissions. That's still a really long way away, but I mean, who knows? In the meantime, I'm gonna keep this channel alive as much as I can and enjoy these awesome diesel pickup trucks. And of course, make cool content, testing and trying products, telling you guys real or fake, and of course, showing you guys some of the really cool builds that we have on the channel. So if you just stopped by and you found some value in this video, definitely hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and see what else I have going on for you. For some of you that just subscribed, welcome aboard. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned.